All right, so the path forward. The path forward starts to get very interesting. So in the last eight months, we have sat very close to clients um, in the journey of launching more and more subnets and really understanding what the challenges they were facing and with those subnets. And we really wanted to focus on the builder um, as one of the main priorities. And in doing so, we started to hear the problems and the same questions that they had, which is, you know, it's like we got into this thing of like, you know, yes, you can. Yes, you can. Can I uh, build a custom chain? Yes, you can. Can I launch my own uh, native gas token? Yes, you can. Uh, can it be public? Yes. Can it be private? Yes. Can I take it from private to public? Yes, you can do that. Does it support pre-compiles? Yes. Does it support custom VMs? Yes. So all of these things were very important to our customers. They just wanted flexibility. And that was the big ask here. It was like, can we make it suit our business? Because a lot of the people making these decisions are in positions of risk. They're in positions of financial risk, having to support these projects, which can be very expensive. They're in a position of reputational risk. They're in interest of technology risk. And so we're trying to take all these risk points and diminish them. Then reputational risk, right? It's like you're going to bat for a very new technology, and you're counting on the fact that what we say works and how it works is actually how it does work. OK, so in that discussion, we basically heard three messages over and over again. And those three messages were, I need to get it to market fast. Uh, I don't want all the overhead associated with running a blockchain. I am not an a Web3 infrastructure engineer. And it really needs to be flexible around the needs of the business. Uh, and in listening to those pieces, we started to put together a product suite to really enable builders, to enable creators, to achieve their vision without all the risk. And that's where we're introducing Ava Cloud. So, yeah. thank you. Yeah, this is really exciting. I mean, this is this is this is going to change the game because what it does is it takes subnets and makes them so that anybody can launch them and launch them quickly. Like you can go to production in a month. Yeah. So, thank you. So, what all the cloud is? Right? It's, a, it's a program, it's an umbrella. It's an umbrella of managed blockchain services. So all the stuff we've been doing for the past three years, all these brilliant engineers we have, um, and brilliant product people, and all the people at the company, they become experts in this stuff. But this stuff isn't simple, it's complex, and it takes the builder away from their mission. And that's what we don't want. We want the builders to focus on the application. So it comes with three guarantees. Guarantee number one is we're going to get you to market faster, like 90% faster. Like we will get you uh, a dev, a fully functional layer one custom blockchain in minutes. That's a developer instance for free. We'll get you a test net uh, in a week, and we'll get you to mainnet in a month. This assumes you're going to build the application, right? We are just providing the underlying infrastructure, and what we're doing essentially is codifying the deployment of custom sub. So there's, there's four products they're going to launch with this. Um, I'll talk about these three here. These three are kind of the, the core. It's like the heart of it. You have to have these in some form to be able to run. And AvaNet is really the combination of all these services into one. It takes the composable parts and, uh, and it puts them together for you. So you know, AvaNet is where you get into something where you're talking to a game company and they're like, hey, um, I need, to get to, you know, I need to get to market super fast. I want high throughput, super low gas fees. I want on-chain verifiable randomness. I want to be able to accept credit cards. I want an NFT marketplace, right? And so this is the idea of the composable blockchain. And so this is at the core of that. And Avanet basically has the managed validators, the API, um, and the data indexing to be able to give you uh, a full custom blockchain solution. So we'll jump into each of these individually. By the way, all of this is wrapped in a no-code portal. So you can self-serve. Um, everything is configurable. You get monitoring and dashboards. So here's an example of it, right? So it's just kind of start with like a wizard, which is, you know, what kind of blockchain are you trying to build? 
And we'll give you some, some use cases. It can be, I want to do everything myself. And you can still do that. You don't have to do any of this. We don't have to manage the services for you. It's just something that we found that when we say, we have this amazing technology, what's keeping you from using it? And it's, I can't get to market fast enough, right? And so if I have to do all the infrastructure, that's going to kill me. I can't take on all this overhead. Like infrastructure, Web3 infrastructure is complicated and it's expensive. And I need it to be flexible so that it's like, I can guarantee that it's going to meet the needs of the business. That's what this is doing. So Avanet, again, it's a suite of all the services. It's the no-code customization, and that's just through the portal. Um, it's got the fully managed deployment, so there's a team that takes care of all of this. They sit down with you, they figure out exactly what you want, and then they deploy that. And then they monitor it, and then you keep working on it, and you can iterate on it until it's, you know, you can grow with it, basically. And then there's guaranteed support. So you're not on your own, right? There is a team, and I'll talk about this team at the end. Um, that is there with you the whole way, who understands, who's launched all the subnets that we have supported, um, and, and has seen these problems, and really will sit there so you, you know, you're not alone in the journey. So here's another look at kind of you know, what it looks like. Um, so it's, it, you know, it's, it's basically, again, going back to the no code, we've just taken all the, the aspects of launching a blockchain, codified them, provided a nice user interface, um, and again, you can go in, there's a free version that a developer can launch in minutes, there's, um, there's several other versions based on, on what your needs are. And then you have dashboards, so you can really see who's using it, what the utilization is, what the, growth, what the growth is, if there's any issues at any given time. Okay, so Avanode. Um, Avanode is managed validators. So, uh, you know, one of the complex things of launching a blockchain is making sure that you're going to find all your validators, that you get the validators that you want, that, they're, that you know they're going to upgrade. And so, Avanode takes a lot of this. It's automated scaling. It's the increased security. Um, it, it just guarantees that while you own custody of these nodes, that we'll be managing them for you and that you won't have issues with them. They will auto scale. Again, there is a, uh, you can really configure your managed validators the way you want. And then it goes back and builds out. It's like AWS for Web3, uh, except it's kind of built a layer above AWS. And lastly, Ava API. Um, and Mark will be doing a deep dive on this. There's Mark right there. Uh, later in this week, I highly recommend you go see that. This is an amazing product. So basically what this is doing, it kind of bifurcates into two areas. One is you've just launched a subnet. You want to index all the data um, of your subnet to make it available for other people. Right? Maybe they need pricing information from you. Um, so that's part of it. And so they can launch an indexing service for your subnet get it up and running, and then with that, you get an explore, right? Because that's the data that drives the explore. The other piece of it is, is that the team has been indexing all the other subnets, and Ethereum, and other chains. So you really have this data pool available to you to power your application in the way you need without having to spin up all this complex, te complex technology. Again, this is what we're trying to do. We're trying to get you to market as quickly as possible. Right, and so this is the dashboard for that. You can make uh, as many keys as you want, and then you can watch the utilization around those keys. Okay, and so lastly, and this is not really part of the core, and this is coming, and I think if Michael's in the room, he'll be talking on this one, and this is definitely worth going and listening to him speak on it too. Teleporter. So Teleporter um, is built on top of Amazon Warp Messaging. So it takes the native interoperability and basically makes it so you can connect any EVM to any EVM, um, and also to the primary network. So again, your subnet, you launch it, you say, oh, I want to be able to have interoperability across uh, other chains, and so you would add this in, and this is the composability that we talk in to your subnet. So at that point, you now have the ability to, um, to basically pass arbitrary messages, or some more than tokens, to any other chain uh, that wants to connect to you. So this is what Teleporter looks like to the user, because it really looks a lot like a bridge. So if you've, if you've used the bridge in core, uh, it's got this really nice experience. It's really just adding those chains in here. So they're represented, and you can, you can send assets or whatever you want to across them. OK, so, so what do we have now? What is available to anybody right now? So the custom VM, obviously the subnets with the custom VMs, pre-compiles, um, the AVA API data, all the operations consoles we talked about, the wallet, 
the validator services, faucets, teleporter will be coming in June. Um, that's all available to you now. So you can, you can launch these things today. Um, where are we going? So we'll launch Avapay, which is going to give you rails into your traditional fiat. So you can attach these into your, to your blockchains as you needed. The gasless relayer. So you know, we see this from gaming a lot, where they don't want um, a fragmented experience for the user, so they don't want them having to sign a lot of transactions. Uh, this will be available. Again, composable. You plug it in if you need it. The validator marketplace. So we'll give you options on validators. So you want a suite of validators. You want eight. You want 10. We'll have um, consortiums of validators who have proven themselves to be reliable. VM and precompiled library. So you know, we are not the only ones developing this technology. Anybody can write their own VM. Anybody can write their own precompiles. Um, after those precompiles and libraries go through certification process, um, they'll, they'll sit there and they'll be available for everybody else. Partnership marketplaces. So this is just like if we have a partner who wants to provide da data oracles, um, again, they'll be in the marketplace. You can pull them in, and that's part of the composability of your managed subnet. And then application layer integrations. This is just moving up the stack, make it easy for developers, um, again, to, to get to market and to, and to work on the application layer. So that's something like Third Web, Truffle, Hard Hat. Um, those will be natively integrated. OK. So, um, so those are all the tools. That's the products. All the studios is a team that we launched. It's a team of, um, of builders of Web3 developers, of founders, um, people who have launched subnets on Avalanche. And they are available to anybody launching a subnet. So we get things from people who know exactly what they want, and they want to know what the optimal configuration is, and they engage with that team. So it's basically a solutions engineering team. The idea is that they're your trusted guide through the process, because a lot of these questions are not easily answered. Um, and so they've done so many of these. This is how you get to market so quickly, is that you're not just dealing with the technology on your own. You're not alone. You have this very talented team to walk you through the whole process to make sure that you're, you're launching with optimal configurations. And so um, here's a recent client. I pulled this up. Just paraphrase. Uh, from the Shrapnel team, which is an amazing team. They've been great partners to us. Um, but so I'm going to read. If using all the cloud lets me spend more time focused on creating differentiated value for both Shrapnel and all the other games that will be running on the GameBridge platform. So that's the Ava Cloud portion of it. Beyond the product, I've been impressed with the skill and the engagement of the Ava Labs team. That's Ava Studios. And so again, it's the marrying of these two things that makes it a really potent mixture. The other beauty of this from like the product person is that uh, we get a very clear signal on what you want because the Ava Studios team is always interfacing with uh, the product team that's building Ava Cloud. And so we get a very, you know, in, in product, you rarely get these kinds of clear signals. And um, so we really lean into those. So I think, th I mean, this is it. I will just leave you with this. Like, our job is to be a catalyst. It's to be a catalyst for the builders, for the developers, for the inventors, the people who really want to get in and, um, and make a change, like make a change in those, in those value propositions that I was talking at the beginning. Um, it's not ours to decide. We are just simply providing as much tooling as possible to allow you to achieve your dream um, for what you're trying to build into Web3. And so you know, even if you don't know, please don't be afraid to talk to us. Again, we have a, a team here, myself. We really want to hear what you want to do. Um, and I don't think that anything's out of the realm of possibility at this point. And this technology is only going to continue to mature. Thank you.